Hi everyone, Paul ISM. Welcome to another At The Bench update or even my buddy Jason who can't understand me. Hello, my name is Paul. Welcome to another International Scale Modeler At The Bench update. There you go Jason. Thank you mate. <laughs> uh, right, so there you go. As you can see the BMW is finished. Uh, good kit. We'll go ahead in a minute and have a look on the camera and have a little chat about it. And I got some nice stills of it, but great kit, went together really well. For a 1986 kit, really detailed, no problems at all. Very, very nice. Uh, I've got both my next builds here, which you can just see there. I'm gonna push that back in. People will be rewinding to have a look now. Uh, we'll have a little bit of chat of those in a minute. A uh, couple of things I want to talk about first. Number one, as always, the Models Heroes auctions on the 1st of March. So we've got, what, just 10 days away? So if you've got anything you want to donate, please, please send it off to Malcolm. The address is on their website. Market ISM auction. Send it off to them and we'll auction it on the night and make some money. We really need to get some more stuff there because there's not as much as usual. So please, please, please dig deep. If you've got anything you want to donate, send it off to uh, Malcolm. Did I say Martin? It's Malcolm anyway. Uh, send it off there and make sure you mark your ISM auction. If not, send it to me. Contact me. I'd rather get sent to me than us lose out on an auction. Send it to me and uh, we'll get it up on the night. Ooh, uh. So make sure you tune in on the 1st of March. Normal time, show time. The whole night with dedicated models for heroes. Mark will with us as well. And hopefully we can make some money for this excellent charity. So make sure you're there. Please, please, please dig deep on the night. And like I say, if you've got anything you want to donate, no matter what it is, send it off uh, or to me. Contact me, I'll give you my address and send it off to me. And let's see what we can do. Second point. I know a lot of people seem to like my video builds and I appreciate that immensely. Uh, it shows I'm doing something right with the builds and I appreciate how... Um, yeah, how much interest they get. Now, obviously, this is my hobby as well. I don't get paid for making these videos. They're not a part of UMP. It's ISM. Everything I put out on this channel is free content. Like I said last time, I enjoy doing the videos. I enjoy talking to people and what have you. It's great. But what I'm not enjoying lately is every single time I show a kit or talk about something, I'm getting asked constantly, will this be a video build? And it's even turned into a joke with some people. Now, all you're going to do by constantly asking me is stop me doing the video builds. I'll just stop doing them because it's just harassment I don't want. Um, I understand people want to see them and I totally appreciate that and understand. But like I said, this is my hobby. Uh, I'll pick my subjects I want to build and when I want to do them as well. Uh, I understand people's got interest, but literally it's really starting to grate on me now. And, you know, people I know even find it funny to ask and that's just as bad. So... It's up to you guys out there. If you want to keep asking me, fire ahead, but I'll just end up stop doing them. And I don't want to do that. I enjoy doing them. Um, just give me a little bit of space. Like I said, it's my hobby. I do this for myself, my own problems and reasons. And I want to enjoy this, not be thinking, oh, if I put this kit up, someone's going to ask me. I even put in the titles now, no, it won't be a video build, and I'm still getting asked. Uh, it's just crazy. So if you just do that for me, it'd be absolutely fantastic. I can't see somebody in the comments, I think it's a joke, by saying, oh, you video build this. But, yeah, carry on doing it and see what happens. It's just one of those things. I don't want to stop doing them, but it will. It will stop me doing them eventually. Right, there we go. One positive, one negative. Let's get all that out of the way. So, beam is done. What's next? Well, Sam chose this. This is the vintage, another vintage kit. Tamiya 405T. Uh, um, the 16 GR. So, it's a Parry Dakar car, the Pioneer sponsorship. So, again, this is a Tamiya... Uh, vintage kit from about 1989 I believe it is so we've got the engine in the back again um, so on and so forth so pretty detailed kit I think my decals are shot in here but I have a couple oh. yeah they've yellowed quite significantly probably could save them sticking them in the window I've got two spare sets one from Renaissance one from Shunko uh, so I'm going to use probably the Renaissance because the Shunkos need all the blue painting um, but it looks a nice kit. I'll have a quick look and we'll go overhead in a minute. Um, and it's going to be an interesting subject. So, Sam's a little bit behind me on the BMW. He was ahead of me in the beginning. He's got a little bit behind now. So, I went on Sam catching up. So, in the meantime, I'm hoping to start that. And no, I'm not going to video build it for anybody asks. So, this is Tamiya's uh, RC21103. Uh, the Telefonica movie style bike. It's that really expensive one I bought a few weeks back. That box has a few little goodies in there as well. I've also got the paint set you can see there. And again, when we go overhead in a second, we'll have a little look at it. I've not built a bike 
It's probably been about a year I did the Kanika Minolta 06 RC uh, 211 and really enjoyed that one. Moved on to that Tech 3 Yamaha YZR and had a night with the decals and it just killed all the mojo for it. Uh, problem with these kits is they're so rare, this thing's really rare kit. There's no decals for them, so if you screw the decals up, you are. Yeah, that word I can't say. So, yeah, gotta be really careful. The decal scheme doesn't look too technical on this, so all being well, uh, it should go down okay. So, that's what I'm planning to build, and I'm hoping to start it later on today. Got a few family commitments today to do. Uh, the little dude's off school, so he wants some toys. Uh, Hot Wheels Monster Truck, and he wants a Happy Meal because it's Lego. So, I don't mind going to McDonald's. I don't mind partaking in McDonald's, but as soon as we get back, I'm going to start this. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to it. I do love building the bikes. I've built half a dozen of them in the last few years, and I've built at least another half dozen back 10 12 years ago and uh, they are lovely kits just i'm very critical on how they look i like them to be almost perfect um so hoping to start that today so hopefully uh we'll see some progress on that there we are so right what we'll do we'll go overhead we'll have a quick look through the kits have a look at the beam have a little bit of a chat and, and then we'll come back Right, let's start with the Beamer first. So, this is Tamiya 24 scale BMW 635 CSI. Uh, 1986 kit, re-released with uh, Cartograph Jägermeister decals. And this thing built up really well. We're very impressed how it went. Um, I've got some still shots I'll show in a minute. Everything built up well. I can't think of a single complaint with the kit at all. Um, and it just looks great. It's a really striking scheme. And I'm very, very happy how she turned out. Now the only thing I didn't do uh, was the chrome trim around the windows. Could have done it, spent a little bit of time and got it done. I'll be honest, I prefer the look of it without it, so I decided not to do it. Uh, the bumpers were left chrome, well they weren't, they were resprayed um, because of some very tricky masking. On that front bumper insert there, I had to paint the back orange, the front black, mask off them both and spray the chrome in the middle. Same on the back for the black and that. So very, very tricky to do. Uh, but this was primed in UMP white primer, uh, base painted in zero paints, uh, Jägermeister orange. Kit decals, cartograph, no bother at all, they went down absolutely superb. Um, it's 2K cleared in pro range as always. Uh, the wheels were left chromed and I used a circle template that you get from any art store to put over the top and sprayed AK Extreme Gold through there. Chassis TS26 uh, white, obviously the hoods come loose, or the bonnet. Um, chassis TS26, brand new PY primer again, all the running gears painted up interiors as well, as with the call outs. Um, and that's it really, basically. Like I said, it does have an almost full engine bay, which is pretty cool. As you can see there, it's pretty well depicted. Not bad at all. Uh, makes a change to Tamiya. So this will be the second kit of an engine built, and the Peugeot will be the third one in a row. Interior is not bad, it's a little bit sparse in places, and I've got a bit of bloody dust on the inside of the window. Sod's law. Uh, I've got a seatbelt, fabric seatbelt, P seatbelt in there, but it's not bad at all. For an old kit, very, very impressed how well it went together, and just how well it looks. Um, very happy with that one. Needs a good wipe over. I've got fingerprints all over it now. But we'll do that before we put it back in its display case. So really happy with that. Like I say, good kit. I got the John Player special one to do as well. Um so that's an all black scheme, so that's gonna look absolutely fantastic as well. But very happy with this. Uh and nice getting another vintage kit out of the way. So another vintage kit, Sam's picked this one for his next build. Uh, I'm going to try and go up a little bit. There we go, I can't go all the way sadly. This is Tamiya's 24 scale Peugeot 405, the Perry Dakar car. As you can see, it's Pioneer livery. Um, so very, very nice, good looking vehicle. I can remember these racing and they were pretty cool. Um, and it does look to be a really cool kit. So we'll have a quick look inside, just to show you what we've got. Like I say, the decals, they're in one piece. They are in one piece, but they've yellowed significantly. Like I say, a few days in the window could sort it, but I've got two sets of aftermarket there. I've got a Renaissance set with a full blue marking and a Shunko set in which all the blue needs masking. I don't really fancy doing that. Uh, as you see, it's an older kit. They come in the little baggies for the tyres. Got nice, aggressive tyres there as well. Uh, the body works in two stages, so you can take it off. Actually, I think it actually lifts up on the hinge. 
to show the engine which is pretty cool lots of clear parts some of them are off the sprue there's the engine interior so it's a pretty simple kit on the whole um, but it looks like it'll build up really well so wait for Sam to catch up and then we're probably going to start these so that looks like a pretty cool kit hopefully that'll go together as fuss free as the uh, 6 series did and then I am hopefully going to start this so I bought this a few weeks back this thing cost me like £107 posted it was not cheap at all I saw the couple of kits to justify it uh, and it's just a lovely scheme very very striking scheme and uh, yeah I'm looking forward to starting this and hopefully we can keep going so I've got a few bits and bobs to go with it I've got a scale motorsport detail upset so we've got discs um, chain parts just all sorts in there I don't know what they are if I'm honest but lots of nice parts in there and a part list on the back so hopefully that'll show where everything goes we've got the obligatory Tamiya fork set as well with replacement clutch uh, and the forks themselves and the rear spring for the suspension um, I've got lots of little bits I've got a tuner model um, chain adjuster at the back I'm not sure I'm going to use that yet I've used one before and there's a lot of butchering to get it in uh, but if not we'll replace the actual uh, screw heads with the bolt heads uh, there instead from the same company so we've got those we've got the top studio chain ten uh, cable tensioners We've got the caliper spacers, we've got the motor GP sensor, and we've got the shift linkage as well. So a couple of nice little goodies to go in it. The kit itself looks really good. My decals are in very, very good condition, um, as you can see. No problems there with those. And we've got these very nice striking bright decals too. Here we are. So hopefully they will not give us any bother. I hope not because there's no replacements for this bike. There's some similar ones, but it's actually for a later bike. Uh, in the kit, we've got the obligatory tyres, uh, screwdriver, screws, uh, black spring, etc. From fairing, fuel tank cover, all in one piece, which is excellent news. If you built these bikes, that's a bonus. From fairing, no bother at all. Front screens there. All the fairings are on this one sprue, so pretty easy to find. As is the wheels, the stand, so on and so forth. All in there. All the engine parts are on the back one, and we've got nicely, they're not chromed, uh, finished parts. Now, it will need spraying because it's a little bit too much. Um, I've got pit lane books for these, and it shows the bikes in full detail close up. If you've not seen the pit lane books, go and have a look. They're literally pit lane walkthrough books of the time these bikes were about. And they are invaluable reference. They're not cheap at all, but they're very, very good. Uh, they really are. So lots of little goodies to go with this. And I've also got, if I shut that over, the Zero Paint painter for it as well. So prime it, and then you've got to put the silver down, and then you apply um, the blue over the silver. I guess it gives it a bit of depth. I'm not sure. It's a very, very striking blue on the real bike. So looking forward to getting that done as well. So there we go, let's go back to me. Right, there you go, as you can see, a um, few little extras to add to that RC211 build, so hopefully that'll be nice, it adds a little bit more detail. Um, at a later date, we may do a bike, bike video. I've got a couple of Panagalis in the stash, there they are, right there, look at that, woo! Um, I may do one in the future, I don't know yet. Like I say, let me decide, leave it to me, and you'll get more builds, trust me. Uh, and the Peugeot, again, it's an older kit, but it still looks good. Hopefully it'll build up well. I'm hoping my Renaissance decals will go down fine as well. Fingers crossed. Uh, comment which one Sam's got. I think Sam's got the kit decals. So hopefully they'll go down okay for Sam as well. And the BMW, love that. That turned out great. And uh, very happy how it looks. Iconic car. I love the old 6 Series Beamers. Uh, I've got another one on the stash. I've got the one with the, um, the Group A racing one with the engine decals all over it. Which I actually thought the decals were shot on, so I bought JPS ones, John Player Special ones for it. Uh, but looking in the box, the decals are mint, so I need to find another one now. So if anyone sees any 6 Series BMWs for sale on eBay or what have you, let me know. I know there's one on there right now. Uh, it's a 40 quid starting bid, which is about what it's worth, to be honest. Um, but if anyone sees one or knows of one, let me know, because I need another one in the stash. So there we go. 
So, thanks for watching today. So a little rant about the video builds, but just understand from my point of view what it's like. Uh, it just does get a bit annoying <laughs> every time. Um, but it's just one of those things. Um, so there we go, thanks for watching as always, check out the Scale Model Facebook page and forum, umpretail.com uh, We've got some new products on there, we've got Tamiya restock as well And it's a very very exciting new product you have very soon, which I'm very excited about uh, So stay tuned for that, hopefully in a couple of weeks it'll be released And uh, it's going to change, uh, yeah, change things up a little bit for a few people, it's going to help immensely um, check out upretail.com like I say, check out Models for Heroes, obviously we've got our auction on the 1st of March, check out my modeling page, Paul ISM, and uh, there's one more which I've forgotten about, oh, god here we go, we forgot, so, oh, Modeling Hangout Group and the Live at the Bench Show, there we go, see, I remember them, <laughs> there we go, thanks for watching everyone, take care, bye bye.